some of the some of the meetings that Ariel has spoken about, sir, will actually be, you know, literally when it goes to the local government, each local government will have the plan on their docket and agenda. And so while most of the main meetings will be here, definitely there will be individual meetings, especially for each community, we'll have to individually adopt <coughs> the plan. You know, Lowndes County doesn't adopt the plan for everyone. Each individual municipality will have to adopt a comprehensive plan. So are we going to say, in general, uh, whenever we have one of these meetings coinciding with our work sessions, we're going to, our meeting's going to end at 6.30. And, I mean, because there has to be a clear time. Mm -hmm. If this is going to be a public mm -hmm. meeting, it's going to be established. There's going to be a starting time for the comprehensive planning process. Our, our thoughts of the chairman were 6. The chairman was probably a little more reasonable, and he seemed to think 6.30 would be a more reasonable deadline. Yeah, I mean, we can gauge it out. We have four right here. And yeah. the city has at least three, if not four. Uh, I'm waiting on Ms. Carmela. I thought she'd be here. I know she was working on materials literally when I left the office. But I think that the agenda is, is at least eight cases this month. So is, are we, not, we don't have any city cases that we're maximum? We do. We do. But um, one thing they were not planning on last week was, uh, you know, Matt currently, I don't know if you know this man, was he's in the hospital. So late last week, he was checked in the South Jordan Medical Center, and he's doing better. He's, he's fine. I thought he was supposed to be discharged either today or tomorrow. But that threw a little wrench into uh, kind of our planning for the kickoff, as well as the work session plan for the city cases. Okay, yes, and so I think he's doing better, but that was, you know, something they were not expecting. Cool. Something they were not expecting. Hmm. Yeah. So... If there are no more questions at this time, we can close this part of the public. Mm -hmm. So, please leave one of those back there for me. I'd like to pick it up yes. on the way out. Sure. Sir, do you want to give Ariel some feedback? Truly, I'm okay with 6 or 6.30. I mean, like you said, we, we may have 8 tonight. I just don't see us running through yeah. 4 minutes each case. Yeah. yeah. I don't see that. Yeah. So, we'll sounds like playing on 6.30. Yeah. Sounds good. I think when you advertise, you better. I mean, we'll try to get there, but I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, to do eight cases in thirty minutes and mm -hmm. is aggressive. Yes, <laughs> very aggressive. Okay. I mean, worst thing that could happen is we take a break before mm -hmm. it's six thirty. Mm -hmm. well, yes. We get, we get the there's, public time with there, There's nothing wrong with advertising legally at public meetings at six o'clock. Be late and it's starting at six thirty. What you don't want to do is advertise it. And be over with before we <laughs> understand. So, with that being said, Brad, would you say let till the airline see what's six? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with starting late. You just don't want to start to be through before people get there. I understand. Mm -hmm. if, sure. If this is a public hearing, can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. Sure. How did anyone know this was a public hearing? I couldn't find any place it was announced. There is advertised in the local newspaper, I think in the Valdosta Daily Times. Mm -hmm. um, the city hasn't sent me a copy of the ad yet, but that, that's my understanding. Mm -hmm. This year requirements are that it be advertised in the legal organ of the local paper between 15 and 45 days ahead of the meeting, and I think it was advertised well within that time frame, something like 20 to 25 days ahead, I believe. I also, um, I have a stakeholder email list that has about 350 people on it that I am going to be sending out email reminders to about the comprehensive plan workshops. If you want to be added to the list, please sign the sign-in sheet. Mr. Corbin, you also, you, you're, I believe you're also on that list. The email was sent out Friday. Okay, yes sir. Sure. I do believe it was there, sir, but I, I'll see if I can figure out the date. That's okay. Yes, sir. Sure. Any other questions at the moment? Yes. It is, 
separate from the transportation plan. Um, so it's um, it's certainly related. Um, you'll find the comprehensive plan will have a section in it called the transportation element, which simply says that Lowndes County and, and the cities in Lowndes County adopt the 2040 transportation vision plan by reference as their transportation element. So it's separate but related. Ms. Tooley, Councilwoman, yes ma'am. I just want to let you know, this we have a comprehensive plan. This is just a major update of that document. Okay. So this is, you know, transportation, like Arrow said, is a part of it, but this is a major update of the one we already have. Yes, ma'am, that's right. And so to me, this is, you know, the last time the city did something like this was over 10, well, right around 10 years ago. Yes, ma'am. Anybody else have any questions? Commissioners, any questions? That being said, we will close the public portion of our tonight, tonight's meeting. Ariel, thank you. Let's thank you. See you on the 22nd. Yep. Thank, thank you, you, Ariel. Forward to it. Okay. Um, Mr. Chairman, just go into the cases that we have. Yes, sir. Let's do it.